Okay. In this video, we will see how to write Verilog code for comparator. Okay. So, this is a 4 bit comparator. So, this is the block type. So, this is having 4 bit. So, A is 4 bit and B is 4 bit. Just we are comparing the magnitude. Whether A is greater, you will get it. A is greater than B, you get G is equal to that. Okay. And if a is less than 1, you will get less than or equal to 1. And if both are equal, equal you will get. Okay? Both are equal. So it has two inputs, three outputs. So we write it like this. Module, comparator, outputs G greater, lesser and equal. So G and E. Inputs are A, B. So this we have declared here. So input. How many bits? 4 bits. Array of 0 is to 3. So we will get A comma B. So both are 4 bits. Output G and E. All are single bits. So we are using data flow model. Okay. Using assign. Keyword assign. So G equals to A greater than B. This is the operator. A is greater than B. Then you make G equals to 1. Similarly assign L. That is less than equal to when a is less than similarly assign equal e equal to 1 when a equal to b. So same equal and mod okay. So this is how we write comparator. Same thing if you want to write in uh, behavior model. Okay. So how to write this? Same model comparator g and e. So these are inputs in the same declaration. In between temporary variable R reg how to declare outputs G N. Okay. So since it is in behavior model, you should write always, always at the rate since to be A or B. Okay. Then begin for always begin. So how you write? So if A equals A is less than B. So if a is greater than b, then we get l should be 0, e should be 0, and g should be uh, make it 1. Okay. So begin and then again else if else if if a equal to b, that means a is equal to b, say begin, same l is equal to 0, e equal to 1, g is plus to 0, and similarly last case else big. Else begin. Else it is less than so L is equals to 1, E is equals to 0, G is equals to 0, and this is always end and body. Okay, so these are the two models how to write comparator. Okay, third model is to try this how to cascade that is simply structural models. Okay. You can write this using components also, but if you want to write in component model, you have to know the structure. It is internal blocks, which case we will use. Okay, so the block diagram you know, you have to map according. Okay, so that's all in this video. Please like, do, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. That's all.